Hello guys, Mukas here. What's up? So I've been wanting to find the most sneaky loadout, the loadout that keeps me off the radar so I can surprise my enemies and I think I found it. Of course it's with the infiltrator but I customized it so I never appear on the minimap and I make the least noise possible. This was allowed by the recent change of the silencers. They used to penalize you very heavily on the bullet velocity but now the drawback for using silencers is much more manageable. One man proof for me, fucking insulting. Oh my god! So the suppressor attachment no longer reduces maximum damage range. Velocity standardized to 15% for all weapons. Previously, velocity penalties ranged from 20 to 50% based on the weapon. I came, I saw, I kicked dead. Dev note the suppressor's penalties varied wildly from weapon to another. Nice double kill. and in most cases remained one of the least desirable attachment to equip. We've streamlined the stat change to make suppressors easier to understand and more worthwhile to use. At the same time they made the soft point ammo a little more penalizing for using it. The velocity debuff went from 5% to 10%. Four man crew for me? Fucking insulting. You're a triple threat pilot. You are not in Kansas anymore. So a cyclone with soft point ammo and the suppressor will have 25% less bullet velocity compared to a cyclone without soft point ammo and without a suppressor. Double killer pilot. So this is still very manageable in close range. You're still gonna have some hard time hitting targets at long range. The bullets are gonna be very slow. Keep it up, I dare you. But at close range, you're no longer penalized on the Double damage model. Pilot. And the bullet velocity is very manageable. So I've set up this loadout with the cyclone, a suppressor, soft point ammo, extended magazine, and two time scope. Double the kill. In my sidearm, I have the Desperado pistol with the silencer again. The sensor shield implant here is very important, which keeps me off the radar. Even if there is motion spotters and recon darts deployed, I'm using the nano armor cloaking, but lasts a little less than the hunter cloaking. Med kits. The assimilate implant that gives me back some health when I get some headshots, which are pretty easy to get if you flank your enemies. For the suit slot, I alternate between the ammo pouch and the adrenaline pump. I notice that I can go on very long kill streaks with this loadout by staying off the radar, so it often happens that I run out of ammo. This is why sometimes I use the ammo belt. Other times when I know I'm gonna have an NG around, I'm gonna have and be able to resupply my, my ammo, I use the adrenaline pump, which enables me to sprint a little faster and get these flanks and get the most of the nano armor cloaking that lasts very little. And you are often forced to uncloak in tricky situations. This is why I like to have the assimilate implant and adrenaline pump sometimes. So this loadout is extremely effective when there is a stalemate and your faction is fighting the enemies on a front line. This is where I try to find some flanking routes, trying to get behind my enemies and kill them while they are focused on the main force. Either race inside the tower, the max. And I use the recon darts to have minimap intelligence nice while kill. they have no idea where I am. I found out that I could get huge amounts of fun in these situations, being like a ghost behind enemy lines. It can almost feel like you're hacking because you know where the enemies are if you can read the minimap well, but the enemy has a very hard time finding you because with the sensor shield implant you never appear on the minimap unless unless you're very close to a motion spotter or an enemy recon dart. You're a triple threat pilot. Which is easily avoidable because you can see them on the map. When you fire a weapon, you don't appear on the minimap. And if you happen to get spotted, you just have to press F, cloak, and you break the spot on you. Double the kill. Four man crew for me? Fucking assault. Utterly devastating. Nice work, pilot. You are not in Kansas anymore. I sometimes find this loadout to be more effective to, to get kills than the heavy assault because with the stealth of the infiltrator, you don't get picked off when you cross from cover to cover, so you can cloak and dive behind enemy lines. 
uncloak at cover, completely invisible. You are dominating. Get your kills and then fall back where it's safe. All this while you are almost completely invisible. Here, for example, I'm trying to get the TR off the main building where there is a point. I don't want them to get comfortable and start pushing. So I try to pick them off while they push one direction. You're a triple threat, pilot. Guys, let's clear up this area and uh, relocate to the other point. Let's clear this area. The other point is getting overbooked as well. Find the Sandys and take them out fast. Go, 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 go. We're clearing the area. Go, go, go. Second silence for this poor heavy so that never know what hit him. It's hilarious. He turned around trying to shoot at the wall because he had no idea where this was coming from. The Cyclone SMG is extremely powerful because you can get these three hit kills if you get headshots. You can kill enemy with three shots if you're really accurate. Four if you are beyond the maximum don't damage range. They don't stand a chance against you, pilot. Six if you go for body shots. So this is extremely satisfying to wreck the enemies in the back you are without them realizing. You're gonna notice that I often have to relocate. I cannot stay at the same position after killing these enemies. Chance of survival if we work together. Keep it up. I dare you. The dead bodies attract attention, so I keep moving, wrecking the front line from behind. And if you're doing your job right, the enemies are gonna be very surprised when they find you, and this can give you an edge to take them out quickly. Now I like to play the Infiltrator class more than the Heavy Assault Accuracy. because it allows more freedom in movement. You can move around on the map in a very discreet way from cover to cover and when you're out of cloak you just hide in a corner and get it back. As when with other classes, if you get spotted once, it's very hard then to lose your enemies. They're gonna know your general direction and gonna start hunting you down. Nice triple kill. Bloody well destroyed. Keep it up, please. Even if you have sensor shield equipped, it's gonna be very likely that people Q spot you, the fuck, and then your flank is over. Never know what so the SMG infiltrator with the silencer sensor shield, nano armor cloaking, is extremely powerful to break the front line, kill these medics and engineers from behind so the enemy don't get support. 
kill these camping snipers that are fighting from long range and don't expect to see enemies close to them. This is a ton of fun, so this is why I wanted to showcase these clips. Let me know what you think guys, what is your ultimate sneaky loadout? I love to play Infiltrator at night or on Hasin because people don't say shit and it's hilarious to surprise them from behind. The really dangerous moments are when you find a heavy assault at close range no. <coughs> or if you find someone with a shotgun point blank, this is where you're gonna have trouble. Here you're forced to do headshots if you wanna have a chance to survive. The bases where there is a lot of cover like here Gurney Dam that has an amazing design can be crazy fun because there is a lot of flanking routes, bushes and vines where you can hide to recover your cloak. Never know what hit him. Two down, six four. One man crew for me, fucking insulting. Outstanding. Triple kill. Never know what hit him. I came, I saw, I kicked ass. Not in Kansas anymore. Double killer pilot. This thing ain't on autopilot, son. Welcome to fight mode. Another situation where I like to have my SMG infill is when I have to cross a big open field to get to the enemies. With any other class, this would be deadly. But with the infill, you can cross long distances and get very close to the enemies without them being able to react. Also you can hack the Spitfire turrets, I don't know if you knew that, it took me years to realize. Then they work for you, like if you had planted it yourself. Here you can see for example that it has distracted this Max, which enabled me to take down his engineer without him realizing. And after that I'm gonna circle around this Sandy for a long time until I run out of ammo, circling around this Max that I couldn't take down even with the headshots. I ran out of ammo eventually, but still an amazing assault, attacking a player made base alone. Yeah, piece of cake. So that's it guys, let me know what you think of this. I hope you enjoyed the ultra sneaky gameplay. Have a good day, stay epic, bye bye guys. Kill.